And joining us once again to answer your Facebook question is Lieutenant Governor and the state's COVID-19 liaison, Dr. Josh Green. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for joining us once again. Morning. Let's uh, get right into the viewer question. This first one is from Myrna Woolery. For those who are, go to Vegas for a few days, there's no chance to get a COVID test. Why can't we take the test when we get back and quarantine until we get the results? Uh, for short trips, I am proposing, though it has to be finalized, that people who go for less than six days be able to do that, to be able to quarantine for four days and then get a test on the fourth day afterwards. There's otherwise no clear way to kind of avoid the quarantine and get clear. Okay, so guidelines being, promo pre being proposed and hopefully finalized soon. Next question, doctor. This is from Matt Onaga. With all the crazy numbers happening on, the, on Hawaii Island and Maui, is there concerns with the state potentially thinking of wanting to head back, to, back into lockdown if the numbers don't stay under 100? Uh, not, there's not a discrete number where we would want to go back to lockdown. The key, of course, is to keep the spread rate down under 3% if at all possible. You know that each county has their kind of uh, algorithms for when they feel comfortable to go from tier one to tier two and so on. Right now, we've seen two outbreaks and they're pretty well contained, but we have to be careful. So if we saw that get out of control and get hundreds and hundreds of cases on the neighbor islands, then that concern gets more serious because we don't have as much health care in each of those uh, areas. Okay, so let's just keep that rate down. Uh, next question is from M. Cook. My son was diagnosed with COVID-19 about 22 days ago. He had slight symptoms and feels fine, but he keeps testing positive. Uh, when will, the, ne when will the, the negative test results appear and could he be contagious? Uh, when can he go back to work? So he should be able to go back to work now. There's not a requirement for a post-test. That's an error from anybody's perspective. 10 days after someone had their first symptoms, and I went through this myself, 10 days after their first symptoms, if they're asymptomatic for 24 hours, then they're cleared. People will continue to test positive for at least two to three months, and that's a concern just because there's residual uh, viral particles. So any business that's requiring a second test after people have been cleared by Department of Health is really not doing the right thing. Okay, so M, send your son back to work. Christina Griffin has the next question, doctor. How is it that returning residents who tested negative within the 72 hours returning are placed on quarantine? The lab was approved. Who decides what's approved and what's not? So we have a kind of a big team that does that, run by um, Doug Murdoch, who's really doing a terrific job. If labs were indeterminate or people got their tests late, then they went into the line with everybody to get cleared. We're trying to get that down so that the time to clearance is very short. But because we had so many people, 58,000 visitors, I'm sorry, 59,000 visitors in the first 12 days, we're trying to be super careful. And we, we consider every traveler the same, whether it's one of our returning residents or a visitor vacationing, anyone who was on the mainland has risk of exposure and therefore we're being real careful. I'm so sorry if someone's getting caught in limbo there. A lot of people took, um, took the wrong test. We want to make sure it's all done right. But if they go through the website or they contact my office or there's a new letter that we just put out to clarify things, we'll try to get people cleared faster. Okay, that's great. Thank you for that information there. Uh, Dr. Josh Green, thank you so much for everything you do. That's all the time we have for now. You continue to stay safe, and thank you for all the updates on all the great information that you give us. Take care. And Steelers, good job. They came in a close one, but uh, we'll see. They're still 6 and 0. Oh. <laughs> Keep them going. Right on, Doctor. Thank you, Dr. Green. Now, for now, let's send things.